Hello, this is Lucas Abotla from Satellite 6 Engineering and in this short video I'll be showing how to build from a discovery image on um, or for Satellite 6.3 or higher. So normally normally there is a uh, there is a, a git repository Deformant, uh, deformant slash format discovery image where you can find the readme and instructions how to build uh, this from the project which is the latest and greatest version of this discovery image um, it's CentOS 7 or Fedora based and it has all the instructions this in this video I'll cover something a little bit different we'll be using the format discovery image built from satellite 6 product satellite 6.3 and we'll be rebuilding that. This can be useful if you need to somehow fix something uh, or change some configuration, uh, install some extra driver or whatever. For this we'll be using the Formula Discovery Image Kickstart. This is the file here, which is in the Formula Discovery Image package. This package also ships some uh, tools. Discovery Master is a utility that allows you to change kernel command line for the ISO file in a case you want to do some unattended pixels uh, provisioning. Discovery ISO 2 pixie is modified version of uh, uh, utility from live CD tools which you know serves our purposes and it's used we'll be using that to extract the pixie files from the from the resulting ISO. And then there's a extracted uh, init kernel in the ROM disk and kernel uh, from the ISO. This is, uh, these files are actually being extracted during installation from here. So, first thing uh, first thing uh, is you need to have a live CD tools package installed which ships the utility we'll be using to build the image. Now first uh, two warnings. First it's not recommended to run the build process on your know, production systems, either satellite six server or capsule. And second, um, it's recommended to use Fedora to do the build process or or CentOS seven, because Live CD tools is not av available in RHEL. You can work around this by installing uh, the Live CD tools from CentOS. It works just these are Python. Uh, uh, packages. Uh, you need to have Live CD tools um, and two dependencies: Python Image Create and um, HFS Plus tools. But again, this is not recommended to do on a satellite. I highly recommend to copy this Kickstart uh, file over to Fedora machine and to do it there. All right, so. What do we, do we need to do? If you edit this kickstart, um, you'll find that it contains a list of packages and a lot of scripts or scriptlets, post scriptlets, which you know sets up the image and installs a lot of scripts uh, which are base64 encoded. In case you want to change them, you can go to the GitHub page and you know you know check out the repo and grab them from there. Or you can perhaps do some uh, changes, you know, in your own post scriptlets. So that's fine. Well, we won't be changing anything on this image, uh, but what we we need uh, still need one change. In the kickstart file, you have a repo uh, statement uh, on the at the very start, and we want to delete that, and we want to ship our own repositories. We need to, to we need two repositories in order to build this uh, kickstart. Uh, these are RHEL, so in our case this will be RHEL 7.4 and satellite, in our case satellite 6.3. You can grab those from satellite server or capsule of course. And make sure that you tick uh, publish via HTTP option before you, you, you publish them because Anaconda installer can't access uh, HTTPS uh, certificate protected the, the SSL client certificate repositories. So um, 
you need to have uh, HTTP here. So obviously this is Kickstarter-y, so for, for RHEL that's fine. You already have that if you think Kickstarter. -y. For satellite you need to tick the, the publish via HTTP uh, option in the satellite user interface or command line. And that's pretty much it. Uh, now we will run this command, live CD creator, you give it a title, a few parameters, uh, cache directory where, where uh, yum will hold the uh, downloaded uh, RPMs, then the kickstart itself, and then dash f FDI is important one, you need, you need to keep this FDI, you don't change that, I'll explain later, and temp file, uh, temp directory will be var temp instead of temp because uh, this requires three to about three gigabytes of free space on temp and you might run into issues if you don't have enough swap so I recommend to use var DMP here it is important to understand that the the name of the the field uh, the option and dash f FDI represents the resulting FD, uh, resulting file name which will be fdi.iso and we need that to be fdi because actually we we don't want to change that because uh, this will be using the discovery pixie to uh, uh, iso to pixie utility this will be extracted and the the way a live cd works currently is that it concatenates the ISO with the init RAM disk and then mounts it uh, during a boot and this needs to be on the kernel command line so there is fdi.iso on the kernel command line basically the only takeaway here is don't change that keep it fdi and then make sure that the the file stays named as fdi.iso don't rename it people tend to rename it like from discovery image version or my version super version or whatever that's fine uh, but first extract uh, kernel and an interim disk from there and then you can rename it and you can do whatever you want so so as long as this is done uh, we'll extract the uh, in the RAM and kernel and then we can do uh, some post-processing which uh, you know when, when we are building the ISO uh, for shipping we are we are doing two additional steps we are uh, running uh, ISO hybrid which is a utility which is from uh, live CD tools which makes the ISO uh, bootable if you DD if you copy that over to USB stick or SD card or whatever it will boot you know normally ISO one boot ISO is uh, some kind of a format that works with CD-ROMs DVD-ROMs you can burn it uh, using a burner but it won't boot by default it can that's what's called uh, hybrid ISOs but you need to filter that through a utility called ISO hybrid which is pretty easy and the next step is implant ISO MD5, which is a utility that creates an MD file um, extra, you know, string within the image that uh, if you uh, click on verify media, verify installation media during boot, it will actually pass. So you need to be sure that this tool, this utility is being being executed as well. If you don't execute it, no problems. You, you just don't click on test this media because it will fail because the MMD file will be missing from there. Um, all right, so yeah, um, you can skip uh, like one minute ahead. Perhaps this is almost done. So I expect it to finish in, in uh, less than one minute. Okay, it's done. Uh, so as we can see, we have a new file, almost 200 megabytes in size. It's called FDI ISO. Now we can use the uh, 
discovery ISO 2 pixie utility which will extract the kernel in the Roman kernel uh, from uh, from the ISO that's the first step you need to do here again keep this named as FDI ISO and uh, as you can see here are the two files this is the Linux kernel and this is the Inidrom disk you want to copy this over to your varlib tftp boot folder name it whatever you like and then use that when booting the image obviously that's the tftp in the configuration default that's the discover here that's the kernel here and in and in it run disk here so these are the symlinks which are being shipped with the pre-built image we we ship with Solid 6 so you want to replace those with your own build here maybe create a new label new entry so you can pick one of these uh, alright so again what you want to do is ISO hybrid part OK FDI ISO and this will convert this ISO to ISO hybrid you can also use uh, UFI to install GRUB2 UFI compatible uh, bootloader uh, next to the SysLinux so uh, this ISO will work on uh, UFI systems but you need to have a GRUB2 UFI package installed I think as that's not the case for this system so this command won't work and implant ISOMD5 uh, um, well uh, insert the md5 in some um, not sure why it doesn't work for my case though but again this is unless you want to hit the test media and uh, start FDI it for it uh, it will work so this is it uh, this is how you can uh, build a formal discovery image for satellite 6.3 on your Thanks.